Hello. Today I thought I'd show you how I do things in my studio, which is currently afloat. We're, um, my husband and I are living on a boat, a canal boat. It's a wide beam canal boat um, on the canals in the UK. And my studio is here with us, or we're actually living in the studio. And a number of you have asked how I'm getting things done on the boat, so I thought I'd show you. So this is our living room, as you can see. We've got a nice TV on the wall. We're very comfortable here, I might add. And our boat is 10 foot wide. So this width of the room is the width of the boat on the inside. And we have two couches. We have a his and a hers couch, so we have plenty of room for when we're just relaxing. I have with me, because I do all the, the designing, I'm still working while I'm here on the boat. And I've got a printer over here, which is currently being looked after by my little friend, the Badger here. I don't have a lot of quilty things around because, because we're living in the space. I can't just make it into a studio. My husband is very tolerant, but I think he would object to having pins all over the couch, etc. I have got some quilts with me and uh, some of these you will have seen perhaps in some of the videos. I often have the little monkey up when I'm doing my tutorials. I hang him up covering the TV so that it's not reflecting in the way. I've also got some of my samples that I'm making um, as we go along, just some small quilts, um, which are kind of nice to make little things because on the boat I can't make too much really big stuff, I have to say, it wouldn't be quite as easy. Uh, but I'm quite well organised. I have here my sewing table, which is a so easy table. Uh, these are wonderful little tables. They fold away to next to nothing when you're not using them. But in the meantime, when I've got my machine out, um, they fit nicely. When so easy make these, they make a an acrylic template to fit the model of machine that you have, which is wonderful. I have one of these back in New Zealand, which I'm finding is really nice to have a little bit of home with me. They are actually, in fact, designed in New Zealand, but readily available anywhere. I'm using my Benina machine. I have a Benina 550 quilters edition, which is wonderful, and everything just sits. It's very stable, this table. I have a little fold-up stool that I sit on when I'm sewing. Uh, so that's how I get my sewing done. I have a little small iron, which if you watch my videos you'll see me using. It's like a little travel iron. It does have steam. Um, it's got various little heat settings and things. And these are fairly readily available in, uh, in appliance stores and also often available in a quilting store because so many quilters like to use something like that. Um, particularly if you're out and about doing retreats or classes or things like that. And I have a little ironing pad which is now becoming quite well used, which I made. It was just a piece of board and I bought one of those uh, reflective type ironing board covers and cut it up and padded it so that that's my little ironing pad because I don't have room for a regular big ironing board here. And I've always got a trusty notebook and pencil on hand. I keep my little scissors in a little pouch so that they're safe and don't get lost. That works really well for me. Then I've got this wonderful table, which the legs on this table are adjustable height-wise, so they can screw up and down. And that's worked really well because it's meant that we could sit it back underneath this lip, so it gives us just that little bit of extra space because it is a little intrusive into our living room to have this set up, but it works for us. We're quite happy with it because we can push that table back, that works well. When I'm doing the tutorials on the videos, you may have noticed that I stand behind the table. So we just pull the table out and I cover up the TV with my monkey quilt and away we go and I put the machine on the table and things like that. So that works really well. So for my fabric storage and things, I have these wonderful uh, roll out they're all on wheels, these little drawer sets, and everything has to be kept tidy. I have to say, I do have to be very tidy on the boat. Um, but they've got a variety of drawers, so I've got my threads and things in a drawer. I, this is where I normally keep my iron and things when I'm not using it, little bits and pieces. Projects on the go are in the drawers. I've got fabrics, loads of fabrics down here. So as you can see, I've got four of these to sit beautifully in this little space. Again, when I'm doing the video tutorials, because they're on wheels, I can just wheel them up the passage out of the way. I have got some other storage. We came across these wonderful cupboards. 
they're only narrow and so that in the passage they're not taking up any space and these store all sorts of little bits and pieces for me as well and while we're on the subject of storage there is a little bit more stuff stored up the front of the boat things like batting things are a little bit bulky um, and not needed every day I can store in some storage areas that we have at the front of the boat otherwise I've got my cutting board here I've got various rulers that I use um, they just kind of sit quite nicely out of the way and of course my cutter um, as I said I do have to be quite tidy I have various little pouches that I can keep projects on the go particularly if there's some hand projects um, I'm do some stitching when I'm when we go through the locks and things with the boat that's an experience all on its own but often there's just a few minutes to wait while the locks fill or empty and I have a little hand stitching project that I can take with me when I'm doing things like that um, my little off cuts um, some of the videos I've been doing lately have I've been cutting off little half square triangles they just sit in a little clip block bag so that's nice and tidy if I'm needing some more light because the lighting isn't really set up as a studio I have one of these wonderful uh, lights it's an LED type light it's quite compact it folds away to next to nothing when you're not using it it's rechargeable um, it's an extra light it's called and so it just recharges through the regular power source and also I can plug a USB so I can charge my phone from it or something like that as well so I find that that is an excellent light it really does help me see what I'm working on quite well when I'm cutting drawing all those sorts of things that's just there for me to use which I really enjoy I have my little sewing bag which has all my little bits and pieces for my hand projects and needles and those sorts of things are stored nicely in there and the other thing I do is I do have a couple of plastic containers again keeping everything tidy I've got some projects cut out in here um, ready for me to, start to sew when I get around to sewing because we're moving the boat around quite a lot I don't sew as much as I might at home in my nice large studio I've had to learn to be quite contained but it's actually so much fun to be so contained to do something a little bit different it has certainly been a bit of a challenge um, but a challenge that I happily took on my husband and I are really enjoying ourselves we're seeing all sorts of things that we didn't know we were going to see the wildlife on the water is really interesting and meeting all the different people lots of people have boats I'm not sure if you've been here but there's one going right past us right now and our boat, boat moves around just a little bit when that happens but it doesn't do the rocking thing it's pretty stable the boat that we have so I just thought I would run through with you how I get things done on the boat and I think that probably pretty much covers it I cut here I iron here oh and under here I may not have mentioned for when I'm working I have a little table that pulls out with my computer on it so with my computer there and the printer over there I can get all that side of things done I can sew there that can pack away when I don't want it in the way all in all I'm very happy on my studio afloat so I hope that uh, clears up some of the questions that some of you have had we, yes we do live on the boat we have a bathroom we have a bedroom wardrobes all the normal sorts of things that you have in a house it's kind of like an apartment but it's in a boat which uh, is really suiting us just having a look around at this wonderful country the the scenery is lovely I don't really know what else to say I just enjoy working a flight thank you